This is the Bodega Dual Zone 37 quart car fridge model TWW35. In this video, I'm going to go over all the features and take it out on a day trip to see how it performs. Bodega sent me the car fridge to review. I've been spending the last few weeks testing it out. If you want to learn more about it, there is a link in the description. If you use that to help support the channel, I'll start by going over the features and then we'll talk about how it works. The fridge has dual zones. The left side is 25.69 quarts. The right side is 10.63 quarts. The left side has a plug for easy cleaning. Both sides have a bright LED light so you can easily see at night. The left and right zones work independently of each other. So you can set the larger left side to be the refrigerator, the smaller right side to be the freezer, or you can flip it and make the left side the freezer and the right side the refrigerator, or you can set them both to the same temperature depending on your needs. During my testing, it took the larger left zone about 24 minutes to go from 65 degrees to 40 degrees, which isn't bad. When you're at home, the fridge can run off a of 110 power. Uh, when you need to connect it to your vehicle, it has the 12 volt DC adapter. A cool feature that I personally haven't seen in another 12 volt fridge is the ability to add a detachable battery. If you look here on this door here on the back of the fridge, you pop that open and that's where the optional battery will go. If you were to use that, the fridge will run anywhere from four to 10 hours without being connected to a vehicle or some other power source, which is pretty nice. Now I'll go through the display screen and basic functions. Here on the far right side, we have the power button. You press and hold to turn it off. Press it once to turn it back on. You use the plus and minus sign here on the far left side to adjust the temperature. Right now it's set at 40. But let's say I want to go down to 32. And now it's set and it'll work its way down to 32 degrees. I'm going to go back up to 40, the plus side. So right now, I'm adjusting the temperature on the left zone, uh, the larger one. But let's say I want to adjust the temperature of the right zone. I would press the minus sign and then the settings button. And now the right zone starts flashing and I can adjust, adjust that temperature. Either zone can be turned off. If you want to turn off the left zone, you would hold the plus sign and the setting button at the same time. So now the left zone is off. If you want to turn it back on, hold the plus and setting sign again. Now if you want to turn off the right zone, you would hold the minus sign and the setting button at the same time. And again to turn it back on. If you look right above the left zone symbol, it says max. That means that the fridge is in max mode and that is to cool down as fast as possible. But you also have the ability to put it into eco, which will save power. If you want to switch between those modes, all you do is hit the settings button. It starts flashing, press it again. Now it's in eco mode. It'll wait a second, it will stop flashing and you're all set. I'll put it back to max. I typically, when I'm charging the fridge at home, will put it on max to reach the temperature I want. And then when I put it into my vehicle, I put it into eco. So we'll be reserving energy and maintaining the temperature that I want. Right next to the max, you see this little H and this is part of the battery uh, protection modes. Right now H is for high, but if you hold long press the settings button, it starts to blink. I tap it, it goes to L for low, M for medium, back to H for high. And this battery protection mode is used so you don't kill the battery of your vehicle. If the fridge is connected to a vehicle, 
you want to keep it in high mode but if you have the first connected to like a, um, a portable power station you can put it into M or L if for some reason when you have the fridge connected to your vehicle and you go and check it maybe in the morning after it's been connected to the vehicle all night if you see it display the error code F1 that means that the fridge is in battery protection mode and it is shut down to protect your car battery so we'll start Another cool feature is the ability to monitor and control the fridge through an app on your phone. We're going to walk through that right now. You can use the QR code in the manual to get the app. Let's see here, download. And it takes you directly to the Apple Store and say get. Okay, we'll open the app. Huh, I guess it looks like I have to sign up. Okay, I completed the sign up process. Um, Provide your email, password, typical stuff. See here, add a device. Okay, you actually have to go in and um, get the device access to your Wi-Fi before you can set up the Bluetooth. So that's what it's doing right now. Okay, it is connected via Wi-Fi and when you're not by Wi-Fi, it should connect via Bluetooth. We'll check that out uh, when I go out for the trip tomorrow. Uh, so it tells us the temperature of the left zone and the right zone in Fahrenheit. Uh, we can change the temperatures here with the sliders. It tells us our voltage, what battery protection mode we're in, and what power mode we're in. Uh, so everything you can uh, access on the display panel you can take care of on the app also. And so this is how we're looking battery wise. And more features, turn on and off the zones, change the modes, uh, change whether you see the temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, so this is probably easier to use than actually using the display on the fridge. And we will test it out a little bit more. I'm heading out to 11 Mile Canyon tomorrow. Gonna have a nice relaxing day, keep it nice and simple, uh, make a nice sandwich. Uh, so I'm gonna set the left side to 40 degrees, have some nice cold beer, set the right side to maybe 28 degrees, and uh, we'll see how it does. I went with the TWW35 because it is 17 and a quarter inches high. So it fits in the truck bed and it's not higher than the tunnel cover. So I'll be able to cover it and close it when I am out driving or at the campsite, keep it out of the direct sun. And it is 18 inches wide from tire to tire and it is and it is 27 inches long from handle to handle. I want to share another useful feature. So the way the fridge is in the vehicle now, I put it in, I have the display uh, facing out so I can easily see it when I get back into the bed, but the hinges are on this side, so I've had it where it's kind of annoying where you just want to quickly go to the set and reach something you can't, you got to go over to the front to the side, hard to get to, but the lid is removable and can be flipped. I'll show you that. So you pop off the lid, rotate it, put it that side. Now you can easily access it from this side of the vehicle. So I stopped for lunch. Uh, the fridge had been in the bed of the truck all day as I've been out here on my day trip in the mountains. Uh, when I checked it, I did have an F1 display and that means that the fridge went into battery protection mode. Um, the car's been running um, most of the morning, so there shouldn't be any issues with the battery uh, dying. 
Uh, so I was surprised to see that. So I checked the manual. It says that if it enters that mode, you're going to take it from H, uh, which is the highest, down to M, uh, and you also take it down to L. So I took mine from H for high, took it down to low, and now the fridge has been on and, and cooling. Uh, so I did have to make an adjustment there. Uh, but when I checked the food and drinks, everything was really uh, cold and it appeared to have been working throughout the morning and now i figure this is a good time to test out the app and the bluetooth connection i'm up in the driver's seat the fridge is back in the truck bed we'll see how it does okay it's asking for permissions so. okay go to app okay it's now saying network is unavailable please check the network uh, I have a bodega car fridge that I've used in the past and the app worked well. Uh, you don't have to be on a network and the fact that it wants you to be on a network when you're out camping doesn't make sense to me. So I don't know if it's just one of those things that is still going through its initial, you know, connection to the app and that's why. But um, that is surprising. An extra feature that I did like and was really convenient for when I stopped for lunch was the cutting board. Uh, I didn't even know it came with the cutting board. Uh, but it was nice it's really compact fits under the lid uh, take it out and that way I was able to cut um, the vegetables and everything for the sandwich that I had and it's a nice little extra another feature I liked is the bottle opener nothing better than a cold beer when you're out camping and the disappointment when you realize it's not a twist top and you can't get it open after spending the last few weeks testing out the bodega TWW 35 car fridge I can say that overall I am really happy with how it performs and some small things actually do make a big difference for example you know the nice big tires the nice big handle uh, really makes a difference because the fridge itself is just under 40 pounds and then once you put drinks and food in it it can get really heavy so having you know the handle made a huge difference in transporting it around um, I like the dual zones, be able to set one for refrigerator, the other for freezer. Uh, that has been really nice. And overall, it, it did well. Uh, so I can say that uh, I will continue to use it and uh, take it out when I go, you know, camping or tailgating or, you know, out to the park for the day, anywhere where I want to have, you know, some nice cold beverages, uh, throw it back in the truck and all set. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful. To see more of my content, check out this video.